Hello, welcome to Open Farm Day in Newfoundland, Labrador, and welcome to our farm here in Fairyland. My name is Brian Yeager, my wife Jane, she's holding the camera. You'll see here later in some video clips. What we want to do is we're going to have a series of short video clips to show you what we do here on the farm, including harvesting garlic and how we dry it. And also the use of cover crops that we use here on the farm, which is one of our primary ways of adding fertility and organic matter to the soil. You will also see a couple of clips with some new young farmers who were helping us on the farm this summer. We hope you enjoy the video and happy farming everyone. It's August 30th, 2021 up on the farm. This particular field will be planted next year. prepare for it here is earlier this summer we put 800 feet of rows of capelin we buried them here. Now these, uh, these weeds are growing up. You can see how green they are. The nitrogen which is the result of the capelin these plants. And uh, before these seeds are viable we're going to flail these down and then we'll incorporate them into the soil and then this fall in uh, September, in a couple of weeks, we'll be planting some rye seed here, so we'll rye, let that overwinter. It'll come up in the spring, and then we will incorporate that prior to putting the vegetables in the ground. Cover crops, it's, uh, it's really a great way to go. Again, on the subject of cover crops, these yellow flower plants are mustard mustard we plant this year it makes an excellent uh, cover crop mustards in the same family as brassicas like cabbage and broccoli cauliflower that kind of thing uh, many advantages to this cover crop it's uh, a biofumigant it helps to get rid of uh, some nasty stuff in the soil it acts as a weed suppression and also it adds lots of organic matter to the soil this will be flailed down in the next few days and then incorporate it into the soil. Lots, so we don't want to... Oh, oh no, this one's so little. That's a baby. That's still good. We could eat it. Mm. Thank you. We'll get them lots. Oh, good mm. job. Okay. <laughs> That's enough of carrots. That's enough. <laughs> uh, carrot day! <laughs> carrot day! <laughs> what are we doing today? Oh, we're having a broccoli stand and vegetable stand. And Franny is in the wagon and we're going to make a sign. Franny, what's your job in the wagon? Oh, Keeping an eye on the broccoli! You're doing great. Yay! Welcome to our farm. I'd like to give you some tips on harvesting your garlic. You're going to harvest when the bottom three to four leaves are dry. Choose a day to harvest when the weather is dry. And then once harvested, bunch the garlic in groups of 10 and place a string around it and hang it in an airy dry place. Moisture is the enemy, so we need dry conditions. Uh, the process of drying takes approximately three weeks with lots of airflow, just depending on the conditions. Happy harvesting, everyone.